this is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the monsters of the Midway, the Chicago Bears, and the Orlando Orbits. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Chicago Bears and the Orlando Orbits. Hello again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Orlando team as they interplay. They have certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason, and that can take you deep into January. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point, but boy... and I down there with them before the game. They were fired up. And they understand how important this game is. Win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. And what I'm looking for from him today the things every quarterback is looking to do. Lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Over the middle complete. It's Burton. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened right, last go. week to, to really hurt their performance and then hold down the rush coming, and he's taken down. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise right, for the go. offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. They'll look to throw here. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And the trick play doesn't work. Good reaction there defensively, and it'll be fourth down. This is fielded inside the five. And now running right through it. 
A very good return that time. 18 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Under center is a six foot two, 225 pound signal caller, Aaron Rodgers. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Bernardrick McKinney leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Well, we knew coming in it was going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush, huh? What we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. Got after him right out of the game. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And down he'll go at the 25. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Let's go, come on. On second down, here's Rodgers. Street's got it, complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. The fourth Pass play doesn't work out. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. The Bears in good field position to start Hang out first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zay Jones that time. And it's second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here we go now. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Set, 319. 319. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here we go! 
Now a play fake here on first down. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. They'll wind up losing a yard. the play and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Nice play there. to force the incompletion and to me one thing's for sure when you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road you absolutely have to get takeaways you've got to get the ball from them yeah win that turnover battle gonna be key they didn't get one there but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that they might just get a few yeah once you get one defensive teams think they come in bunches This one up to the 26. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. And we take a look at the starting lineup defensively. And Dominican Sue was an all pro when he was with the Detroit Lions in 2013 2014. Many people think that maybe he might either be slowing down or not playing at the same level. My eyes tell me he's still playing at an elite level. He's still destroying the interior of an offense. Can get to the quarterback. Crush a run game. You name it, Adama Kinsu can do it. And how about how durable he is? Hasn't missed a game since 2011. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Detroit! Detroit! All right, here we go. Green, 39! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, 
Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and they're going to face a third down. Now back to throw. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Rodgers now on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. Right, go. I don't think they were above all week. And this game will be intercepted. Picked off here the 32. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. 10. 5. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field. field on most plays. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Onto the field now come the Bears. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. Right, but they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not Let's try to go. take advantage Three, of it. Sometimes the defense Three. makes a good play, too. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get three up to midfield. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here we go now. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team... They lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 16. They're going to look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short. And it'll be fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Over here. Motion, 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 motion. Jump out. 
Now Rodgers throwing on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Yeah, good game, guys. the ball in the backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting is taking over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he'll get nothing out of that one. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. I know you've got a baseball background. Right? A little bit. Started yeah. in minor league ball. Yeah, you did some of that, right? What do they do when they do the signals? An indicator, right? It Tells starts... you whether it goes or not, yeah. Yeah, whether the play's on or not. How about the indicators offensive linemen give when they're getting ready to run a screen pass? And if those get red, <laughs> well, we just saw that there, didn't we? No gain. No gain. Deciphered it and finished the play off. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Here we go now. Boom, From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And as a defender, if you go with two interceptions in a game, that's pretty rare in the NFL. You might see one guy a weekend do that, but have two in the first quarter. That's something you don't see all that often. I have a feeling they'll think twice about throwing in his direction too often. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown! In for the score. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well-organized, well-coached, and extremely confident in what they do. Point after try, forthcoming. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again.
Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. Plenty of scoring here already. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. They're facing a tough spot, third and eight here to start things out. Here we go now. Three, 19. They'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. The dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. This is taken at the 10. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt, and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And now back out comes the offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup. So from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. The throw is Rodgers. And a quick throw here. That's complete. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And they'll go on the ground. Across the 30 to the 31 yard line. Three yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. I if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Daniil Hunter in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy right, for the QB, three, right? Three, in this nine, case, three, definitely three, been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And, if it, and for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. T.J. Green with a pick. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanking the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. First and ten, here's Rodgers. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And it's a second down. But well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff. But still, a lot of guys to account for. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, and his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. 319! They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. 
And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And there we saw rolling right out of the pocket. Maybe his momentum taking him toward that sideline led him a little too far. Yeah, that is difficult, isn't it? Plus, you're closing down your space, right? You're, you're shortening the field for your receivers. And their inclination is to go towards the sidelines as fast as the quarterback is as well. Hard for them to throttle down to leave themselves with enough room to stay in bounds and catch the ball. On third and long, it's Rodgers. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. This will be their first trip to the red zone. They've got it first and goal to go. They fake the give. Now Rodgers rolling to his left. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here. Brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Rodgers now on third and goal. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space go ahead, just go, because go. there's not enough space for receivers to run through. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Being chased out left. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Bears will get the football back. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down in this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive court. Allen Robinson, kiss him goodbye. He's at the 50, the 40. The 20. And all the way down to the nine. A big play there on the catch and run. 86. yards a first trip to the red zone for the Bears they're looking at a first and goal from about the nine Here we go now. from the shotgun he'll look to throw that's complete right around the eight they'll get only two there and it's second and goal and partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They'll give it to him up the middle. Showed some tough running, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. 
Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to 3. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that will tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Rodgers now on first down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Somebody missed an assignment. He was waving his arms saying, uh, hey, I'm wide open. They found him. You think? You think? I mean, he was so wide open. Did you see he was just windmilling like he was Don Quixote or somebody out there? And then they found him for a really nice game. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to the fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. This offense so far on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and four. Rodgers again now. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. Third and four, he did just enough, and I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And they'll run it here. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Going up top. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back.
and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Hey, hey, hey. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more after this. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 319. Hey, check 26. Hey, check 26. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Forced out to his left. And his throw is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Hurry up, hurry up. On play action, it's Rodgers. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. And they bring their punter out there now. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. Uh, you don't want to do that one again. Green, no, not at all. It's almost Green, like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go Take it, set it aside, and move forward. A little antsy. side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one, and 
let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap, jump too quickly. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll drop the throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Morrison. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Set, they'll look to throw here on first down. And that'll be incomplete. And my observation has been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. His throw incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. On third down, it's Rose. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the... Offense. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Set, three, 19. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears have cut it to within a score. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And that will get him one closer. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 319! On first down, Rodgers. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. 
Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. And this offense on third down today, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. On play action, now Rodgers. He's going to air one out. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. And likely time for one final play here in the half. So they will go for it on fourth down. A final shot before half for Rodgers. And this is incomplete. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take